Hello friends, you're welcome on Learning with L and R and today we are going to discuss about coordination as a management function. Let's discuss. First of all, the introduction from the picture or image of the introduction, you can see the, um, the member or the employees work with each other. First of all, the introduction. Coordination is considered as an essential element of administration. Without this, the project work or the aim or the goal of the institution do not achieved. Okay. Coordination is the integration. Integration means collection of various kind of steps. Then synchronization or orderly pattern of group efforts in the in institution towards the accomplishment of common objectives. Because the staff member or the employee belongs to particular institution. Ultimately, the aim of each and everyone present there, success of institution. And without the coordination of the members of the team, it is impossible to achieve, right? The concept of coordination is much broader than that of cooperation. In cooperation, we can we can take part in cooperation or not. It's the it's I think it's uh, depends on our will to cooperate with others. But in coordination, it's our duty to coordinate with the team. Then the definition coordination is the orderly synchronization of efforts to provide the proper amount timing the proper amount of time and directing execution resulting in harmonious and unified actions to a stated objectives. In coordination, we can devote our time or efforts to meet the objectives. Then the next one is coordination is the integration of several parts into an orderly whole to achieve the purpose of undertaking. Right? Then, coordination is the integrating process in an orderly pattern of group efforts in an organization toward the accomplishment of a common objective. If we talk about the nursing college, we staff member are head. Each and every staff member, the main objective behind, behind our presence every day in the college is 100% result of our students, right? Then the importance of coordination, it will be creative force, unity of direction, high employee morale, diverse and specialized activities then to avoid personal rivalries and prejudice then at the end to avoid conflict of interests. What do you mean by creative force? Creative force means when we work in a group, when we take a group efforts, that time the creativity or the result is greater than as compared to the individual work or the work done by the person in isolation. Then the next one is unity of direction. In coordination, it is very necessary everyone coordinate with each other as a unity and unity is the main funda in coordination. Coordination ensures unity of direction by way of securing spontaneous collaboration on this part of different departments. What does it mean? Our head of the department give us order to complete the task. But without our coordination, our head do nothing, right? If everyone go with direction or with unity, that will be more fruitful, right? Then the next one, high employee morale. How it goes at the level of top morale of the employee. When your employee is motivated or encouraged to do the things that will be beneficial for the institution but how to hide the morale of the employee our head must know about this 
Coordination enhances the gender level of employee morale and provides satisfaction. In this, when everyone coordinates with each other and when get a result, a desired result, that gives the satisfaction to the employee and that satisfaction take the morale at next level. Right? Then, diverse and specialized activities. Total activities of an organization are divided into several units and subunits on the basis of either product specialization. For example, in our nursing colleges, our nursing department divides into five main areas, medical surgical nursing, child health nursing, mental health nursing, OBG department, and community health nursing. In this, the division of the work divided into the main five areas and after that uh, in the in the next level the work is also divided that will be more easy to complete the task total activities of an organization are divided into several units and subunits on the basis of either product specialization then the fifth one is to avoid personal rivalries and prejudice what do you mean by prejudice? Prejudice means when we think prior the experience. It's a myth. To avoid personal rivalries and prejudice. Prejudice means we think something about somebody without meet them or without experience with him or her. And rivalries? Rivalries means two people work in one area and always make the competition with each other or always against each other that is the rivalries human organization give rise in course of time to the development of personality politics among members and the next one is to avoid conflict of interests subordination of individual interest to general interest often happen in organizations there is need for coordination to avoid conflicts or overlapping in the work of employees or units or as organization if we avoid the conflicts then we will be more successful in the objective complete the objective then the next one is techniques of coordination there are various techniques of coordination first one is communication we can communicate with each other or we can come uh, communicate from top level to lower level or lower level to top level then orderly plans then supervision is very necessary in coordination also then leadership we need a good leader to complete the objective then departmentation there, the work divided into according to the department so that everyone do the work very well to compete with other right then direct contact our head have direct contact with everyone so that everyone feel encouraged or meet uh, coordinate with each other to meet the goal then types of coordination there are two kind of coordination internal and external internal coordination for example we work in one college and there are head our principal vice principal our uh, uh, professors and other faculty members coordinate with each other in one institution that is internal coordination and what do you mean by external coordination when we cooperate or coordinate with another college at the time of examination or at the time of any professional activity that is called external coordination the next one is what kind of hindrances we face in coordination first one uncertainty of the future as to the behavior of the individual and the people there is a uncertainty in the future maybe the employee left the job or maybe they do not show the interest in the object to complete the objective then next one is lack of knowledge the person do not have knowledge regarding 
the topic which we are going to compete and lack of experience lack of wisdom wisdom is very necessary to coordinate with each other but if it is lacking then there is a no value for coordination and planning of coordination the next one is uh, wisdom and character among leaders and their confused and conflicting ideas and objectives if our leader do not know anything regarding the objective which we are going to achieve then how is it possible to meet the target then the third one is lack of administration skill and technique if our leader lack of administration skill lack of provide the direction then it is impossible to achieve the goal then next one is vast number of variables involved and the incompleteness of human knowledge particularly with regard to men and life okay then lack of orderly methods coordination sometime leader do not know how to order how to order the faculty then size and complexity if our group is very large then there is a, we fail to give our message or direction and complexity if we do not uh, clear our goal clear our objective our objective our uh, objectives are very complex then is it impossible to achieve then personality and political factor personality some people have a knowledge and want to achieve the goal and they give their effort but some people do not do anything but they have a political uh, tricks how to influence the leader these kind of things prove as a hindrance in coordination then lack of leaders with wisdom if your leader is lack of wisdom then it is impossible to do anything lack of leaders with wisdom and knowledge pertaining to public administration the next one is accelerated expansion of public administration of international dimension okay then coordination applied to nursing management how healthcare system consists of different categories of health personnel which requires intense coordination to function it effectively okay healthcare system is a wide area which require coordination to do work well for example in the hospital if the patient need cpr on a urgent basis and if if our team do not coordinate at that time then maybe somebody left the life okay nursing service is often the largest group of health personnel with wide range of functions and skills then effective coordination of nursing services and patient care will lead to patient satisfaction better quality of service and patient outcomes i hope you have learned about coordination from this lecture Thank you so much for your attention.